Now, here's another story to tell you about. Residents evacuated from their homes after a burst water main flooded a street in North London early this morning. Live to the scene of our correspondent, Emma Birchley, who's in Camden. Goodness, Emma, what's happening? Yeah, imagine this. A 42-inch water main has burst, so it's more than a metre in diameter. And if I step out of the way, you can have a look. You'll see the water gushing up in the street there by the bollards. That's the point at which the water is coming out onto the road. It's pushed up loads of rubble and it's gushing down the hill. And we understand that a 100 homes have been affected. Uh, people have had to be rescued. People have been moved up onto the first floor. But some people, three adults and a child, have been taken uh, to a rest centre and they've been taken there um, in rigid inflatable boats. So little uh, boats brought here by the fire service. 60 firefighters, eight fire engines uh, and also those two specialist teams that deal with flooding like this. I'm joined now by Station Commander Gary Deacon from uh, the Old Kent Road and Peckham Fire Station. Um, hello, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, tell us, what's the latest of what's happening? Morning. So the London Fire Brigade were called here this morning at about 20 past three. Uh, as you said, we've got uh, eight fire engines and two fire rescue units uh, which contain our uh, specially trained level two water rescue techni uh, technicians. We also do have a high volume pump in attendance uh, and that is pumping away approximately around about 300, three, three and a half thousand litres of water per minute. There is a lot of water there, isn't there? There, there is. And uh, as you quite rightly say, approximately about 100 properties have been affected by the flood water here today. Uh, the crews have assisted approximately 20 members of the public from their ground floor basement up onto the first level. Uh, and as you say, with our colleagues, we've set up a rest centre up at the Swiss, Swiss Cottage Sports Centre. Uh, as you say, three adults and, and a child have been taken up there. And I would encourage that anybody else in the immediate area that's been affected by this incident to, to make, them, uh, make their way there. Um, how deep is the water down there? Because quite clearly it's still gushing up and then right down the road. Well, as I say, it varies in, in height. I believe at, at the height of the incident, it was around chest height. Uh, that's what part of the reason why we have got our swift rescue technicians here that are fully kitted up in their dry suits. All right, thank you so much for joining us. So 1,900 homes we know have no water at all, and actually there are further homes that are being affected, and it may be some time uh, before their uh, supply is back in action. So causing an enormous amount of disruption. You can only imagine what it's like for those people in those homes that are, are flooded just before Christmas.